Welcome to the Michigan eLibrary at Mel.org. Mel is Michigan's 24-7 online library. We're here whenever you need a question answered. This video is an introduction to Mel Databases, where you can read full text articles from magazines and newspapers, find current reference sources, and use advanced search functions. To assist you, we've broken out some of the most popular topics into gateways. Each gateway has specific databases as well as other features. The Business and Jobs Gateway includes databases and websites that will help you start or grow a business, data and information on business and the economy in Michigan, the U.S. and the world, and resources for jobs and career information. Let's return to the MEL homepage by clicking on the logo. The Genealogy Gateway is great whether you're charting your family tree, researching your ancestry, or seeking information on family or social history. The resources you'll find in this gateway will get you started or move you forward in your quest. The Health and Wellness Gateway contains consumer health information as well as medical information for professionals. It contains reliable, comprehensive health information. Mel Kids provides reliable, age-appropriate resources that inform and stimulate the mind. And they're fun, too. A great place for homework help for kids on their own or for parents who are helping out. The Reference Desk is designed to point you to trustworthy online resources on a wide variety of topics, from current news and events to answers to common questions about things such as acronyms and abbreviations, quotations, etiquette, time zones, government, and much, much more. The Teen Gateway provides reliable resources on all subjects, including homework help, college prep, and life skills. Let's examine the Books and Reading Gateway in greater detail. Each gateway features key resources, or databases. In Books and Reading, we have MELCAT, the statewide patron-initiated borrowing service, Michigan Authors and Illustrators, Novelist, What Do I Read Next?, and What's Next from the Kent District Library. Each of these databases offers unique information and comes with a full description so you can learn more about it. Notice the first sentence for each database tells you who the database is recommended for. When you're ready to jump in, just click on the title. First, you will be asked to log in. MELS databases have been purchased for Michigan residents and in order to demonstrate your Michigan residency, you're asked for your driver's license or state ID number or your library barcode if your library participates in MELCAT. You can use the drop-down menu to find your library if you prefer to use your library barcode. MEL does not communicate electronically with the Secretary of State or any other state or local government. No personal information about you will be stored or transmitted when you enter this information. After entering your driver's license or state ID number or your library barcode, you will be taken to the database you selected, like Novelist. The database will always open in a new window. You can access the databases by going back to the MEL homepage, by closing out of the database, and clicking on the logo. If your question is more general or does not fall into one of the gateway topics, our main databases page lists all of our offerings in alphabetical order. A good place to start with a more general question is General Reference Center Gold. You'll notice that I was not asked to log in a second time because I had already logged in to view Novelist so I'm taken directly to the basic search screen. 
you can see that it defaults to searching for documents with full text. I'm going to do a search for China. You can see how General Reference Center Gold suggests other subjects such as porcelain and breaks down the results to magazines, academic journals, books, news, and multimedia. It also gives me the option to sort results by publication date or relevance. I also have the option to create an RSS search alert which will allow me to view the results of my search as they come up in the future either through an RSS feed or through email. I also have the ability to view particular document types like brief articles, book reviews, interviews, and columns. Some databases, like SIRS Discoverer Deluxe, are designed for kids and cover a wide range of materials at K-12 reading levels. Others, like Chilton Library, cover only one topic, in this case, automotive repair information. If you're looking for newspaper articles, try InfoTrack Custom Newspapers. This database includes the New York Times, the Washington Post, and many newspapers from around the world. You can also view NewsBank Michigan newspapers, which cover the Detroit News, the Lansing State Journal, and the Grand Rapids Press. NewsBank Custom Newspapers cover the Detroit News, the Lansing State Journal, and the Grand Rapids Press. If you're looking for a particular journal, go back to the Mel homepage. Try the Full Text Magazines and Newspapers button. This will allow you to search among the tens of thousands of mail magazines and journals available to you. Let's do a search for time. The results show the various databases that time is available in. Choose one that matches your date requirements. As you can see with time, current information is available in a variety of sources. I'm going to choose General Reference Center Gold. I'm going to maximize the screen and scroll to the bottom where I can see all of the issues released this year. I can also use the drop-down menu to select previous years. At the top of the screen, I have the ability to search any term within Time Magazine. Let's close out of General Reference Center Gold and return to the Mail homepage. Another great resource from Mail is under Tests and Tutorials. This is Learning Express Library. It's a completely interactive online learning platform of practice tests, including the ACT and GRE, and a tutorial course series designed to help patrons, students, and adult learners succeed on the academic or licensing tests they must pass. It also includes the U.S. Citizenship Test. You'll get immediate scoring, complete answer explanations, and an individualized analysis of your results. We hope this short video has been an enticing introduction to the many resources available through MEL databases. If you have further questions, please ask your local librarian.